Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Welcome to the Monday version of the morning weather update. It's going to be pretty short and simple, and it's going to be nice. Uh, we have a sharp warming trend on the way, it looks like, and not much, if any, precipitation on the way. So let's get into it here. Uh, here is the current radar. We do have a patch of some probably snow, maybe rain mixed in uh, across the eastern UP, lazily uh, meandering across the northern parts of Lake Michigan. That will be drying up and uh, lower Michigan today should not have any precipitation. So let's get into it and I'm sorry, I know it's Monday, but I got to start you off with a whole bunch of squiggly lines so let me remind you what you're looking at. You're looking at the European model. It's going to go out 10 days. The green areas, the blue areas, the orange areas, that's a precipitation totals for six hours periods previous to the screen. And the red lines are temperatures warm, and warm temperatures, and the blue lines are cold temperatures. So that's kind of what I want you to get out of this, is that you won't see any storm systems, and you will see the blue lines translating to red lines. So here we go. And here we go. Let's see. Uh, we're into today. And today is shaping up to be an increasingly sunny day. And then we're into tomorrow. And look at how the blue, the cold air mass shifting on toward the northeast. The warmer air mass building in. We're into Wednesday. We're dry. We're in a southwest wind. We're in mild temperatures. I'll show you the exact specifics here in just a moment. Hey, good morning, Mike Van Norman from Thomas Township, and good morning, Randy Pierce from Sheboygan. Uh, and here we go. We continue. Uh, this is Thursday night. This is Friday. Look at Friday. There's another storm system forming out west, and that just brings another renewed surge of warm temperatures our way ahead of it. We're into Saturday. We're into Sunday, no precipitation. We're into Monday, we're into uh, Sunday of this coming weekend. Storm cranking up out west, that puts us in the southerly flow and continues it. When would our next weather maker be? Well, if we believe the European, and it's usually pretty believable, and the other models say the same thing. Um, we're looking at about next uh, Tuesday or so when the next cold front comes through. Someone's wanting to see it cool off for uh, deer season. And I can understand what you're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know. Allergies for me have been bad this year. <coughs> so high temperatures today in the 40s, then in the low 50s, then in the low to mid 60s, low to mid 60s. <coughs> Excuse me. Friday into the mid to upper 60s. Saturday, same deal, mid to upper 60s. And this would be Sunday, still into the upper 60s to maybe 70 degrees. So we have some very nice mild temperatures on the way. One last thing I want to show you is these are the temperatures aloft, 5,000 feet. This is the temperature anomaly. So where you see the red, brownish, pinkish areas, those are temperatures above normal to well above normal. And then obviously where you see the blue and the purples, colder than normal. So we have a cold pocket moving off right now. And then we go into, this is Wednesday. Look at that. We're, we're 11 degrees Celsius above normal at 5,000 feet. So that's about 22 degrees Fahrenheit above uh, normal, and that translates to about the same at the ground. So we're looking at uh, significantly warmer than normal temperatures, and we're into Saturday, and it just continues, and we're into Sunday, and I told you the next cold front may be about uh, Tuesday. This is Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, the next cold front. The cold air doesn't look as massive. It's in here for a few days. Let's go to uh, opening day of firearm deer season. That would be Sunday, uh, November 15th. And there you see that the cold pocket has worked off and we get back to 
warmer than normal. So in general here, looking at the next, uh, say, 16 days, we got about 10 days of anomalously warm temperatures. We cool back down to uh, somewhat colder than normal for several days and then may take off with some slightly warmer than normal temperatures. In other words, November right now mathematically is stacking up to be warmer than normal. Hey, good morning, Bob Holmes from San Clemente, California. How is it out there? So it's a pretty short weather update for you today because we have just a lot of nice weather on the way. Get ready for sunshine. Get ready for November sunshine. That's kind of rare. Uh, get ready for, wow, Switzerland's Ooh, minus 22 Celsius. Wow, that's cold. So get ready for sunshine. Get ready for warming temperatures each day. Get ready for some golf weather from tomorrow on through the weekend. And uh, now winter is on hold uh, compared to what we had yesterday. So take care. Thanks for joining me. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa with the MLive Morning Weather Update. We do it every morning. 8.30 to 9-ish, uh, please share it with your friends. Liking is great. Sharing is better because then it spreads the word of this is the way we uh, cover the weather. And even though it was easy today, you know we're going to have plenty of times where we want to know in depth what the weather is going to do as the snowstorms start to approach. Take care. Have yourselves a great Monday.